Clubhouse friends. How are you? I miss you so much. And happy summer break to some of you. Some of you guys had your very first week of summer break this week. Those of you that didn't, be patient. Yours is coming to, coming soon, right? So how does that make you feel? Were you excited? Um, did any of you play in a sprinkler for the first week of your summer break? Or maybe even jump in a swimming pool? Maybe it's a little chilly for that, isn't it? But... Those are some of the things that I loved to do when I was a kid and I was your age in the summertime. So maybe you've done some of those things. I can't wait to hear about all the things that you've been doing. So if you were with us last week and watched the video, um, Miss Becky read you the story about how Jesus chose his friends. And many of them were fishermen. Some of you guys, we saw you fishing for things in your kitchen and around your house. That was so much fun, right? Great, great craft. So his friends were the people who got to go with him and see him do all kinds of miracles and tell other people about how much God loved them. So in this week's story, we get to actually go with Jesus and his friends and watch him and hear about him performing two miracles. And in this story this week, he actually heals two different people. So I want you guys to think about and really like stop and think about it. Think about a time when you were sick. Maybe you had a cold and your nose was all stuffy and you were coughing and sneezing. Or maybe you had the flu. Ooh, flu's no fun, right? And when you're sick, you don't get to do the things that you love to do. You can't go outside and play. You can't necessarily be around your friends. Sometimes you can't even be around your family so that they don't get sick either, right? So I want you to really think about that time and how, ugh, how that makes you feel when you're sick. Well, there's a girl in our story this week who is sick, and I bet you that she felt some of the same things that you feel when you're sick. She couldn't go outside and play. She couldn't be around other people, right? Because she was so sick. And you'll also meet a woman. You'll hear about a woman who was sick. You guys, she was sick for 12 years. Can you even imagine being sick for 12 years? That would be terrible, right? Well, I absolutely love this story this week, not because people are sick in it, that's no fun, but I love it because we get to see Jesus's response to those people when they were sick and what he actually does to help them, right? So after you watch... Um, the story video, you can ask your um, parent or an adult to click on the story video. Then I have two crafts planned for you, okay? You can do one of them, you can do both of them, that's totally up to you, okay? So in our story, we learned that Jesus can heal us physically when we're sick, right? But we know, those of us that have been in Clubhouse and have been listening to stories about Jesus' love, we know that he can also heal our hearts from sin, right? Because we've talked about before how sin is like a sickness in our hearts. Well, he can also heal us from that, right? So we're going to make two different crafts or one, whichever you want to do, that will help remind us of that. So the first one we're going to make, there's a link in the newsletter that your parents can click on and they can print out one of these gigantic band-aids. Do you see how it looks like a band-aid? I made mine really colorful. You could make color yours in it like band-aid colors. But I made mine colorful because I like colorful things. So this gigantic band-aid is special because not only does it say Jesus Christ has the power to heal to help us remember that he can heal us not only when we're physically sick, but also from sin in our hearts. But you can actually take this gigantic band-aid. So cool. And you can wear it as a bracelet. Isn't that awesome? So you can just put a little piece of tape around it and you can have it as a bracelet. Don't worry if your parents don't have a printer at home, that's okay. Look how easy it is to take a piece of paper and just cut out a rectangle, okay? And you can make your very own, okay? No problem. All right, and then the second craft I have for you, check this one out. This is super easy, right? But this is to help us to remember, again, that Jesus can heal our hearts and heal us when we're physically sick. So what I did is I cut out two different hearts. One, obviously, is bigger than the other. I wrote down Jesus heals on it. And then I just wrote down some things that I um, know that Jesus heals me from, right? So when I'm sad, he can heal me. When I'm sick, he can heal me. When I'm lonely, when I'm angry sometimes, he can heal that too. And then I took two band-aids and put them in the shape of a cross to help me remember, right? 
so easy. So we cannot wait to see the crafts that you guys make at home this week. And we cannot wait until we're back together again. And we can hear about all of the fun, fun things that you have been doing during your summer break. We love you guys. See you soon.